tones in Chinese 变调 right? So we learn two kinds of sound of tones. The first one is the third tone sounding, 三声变调 the changing of tones for the third tone. So、um, in brief,、um, a third tone sounding rule is like this. So if a third tone syllable is followed another third tone syllable, so the first one its tone change into second tone, right? So for example, like 你好 so this 你 is a third tone syllable, right? So if 你 is followed by another third tone syllable, like 好 then this 你 Its tone change into second tone. So in actual pronunciation, it is it is pronounced as 你好 So this 你 change into second tone. So this is the third tone, uh, sandy, the third tone sandy, 三声变调 And also we learned another um、uh, sandy of tones, which is sandy of 不 right? So uh, 不 means not. Um, and its rule of sandy of bu can be described as this. So if bu is followed by a first tone, second tone, and of a,、uh, a third tone syllable, there's no change、uh, in tones. But if bu is followed by another fourth tone syllable, so its tone、um, change into second tone, right? So like this example, like bu chi, bu lai, bu hao. So in these cases, bu is followed by,、um, respectively, the first tone, second tone, and third tone syllable, and there's no change in tones. But this one, we pronounce that as bu chu because this bu is followed by another fourth tone syllable, so its tone change into second tone. Okay, so these are the very important、um, pronunciation. Knowledge concerning with tones we learned in last class. Okay, so、um, let's do some、um, pronunciation exercises of lesson four. So the first one is still about the tone、uh, practice. So please listen carefully and discriminate the tones. So choose the one you hear in each pair. As you can see, there are several pairs. And each pair,、uh, so there are like two syllables, and the only difference between these two syllables are the tones. You can see like this one, xi and the xi. So I will read one of these、uh, syllable. Each one will be read two times, and then you circle the one. You circle the one you hear. Okay. So focus on the tones, please. Okay. Let's begin. The first line. Xi. Xi. Next one, 雪雪雨雨也也不不 Okay, next line, 寒寒法法太，太，同，同，应，应。Okay, so now please check the answers to see whether you have, ah,、uh, you get the correct, ah,、uh, syllable. Okay, in each pair. Okay, ah,、uh, and now we will read all these, ah,、uh, syllables, in each pair. Okay. And you can make comparison between these two tones and feel the difference by yourself. Okay, okay. Please read after me all these、uh, syllables. Xi, xi, xue, xue, yu, yu, ye, ye, bu, bu, han. 汉，法，法，泰，台，同，统，赢，英。Okay, so this is just an exercise 
about tones, okay? And we will also do two other uh, phonetic exercises um, in our textbook. So please open the book and turn to page 27, okay? Let's see, um, there's like two other phonetic exercises in this book, okay? Okay, so the, uh, the first one, the first one is listen and read the following syllables. And you can see there is kind of comparison between two similar initials, like the first one, bo and the po. And now I, I think, I believe that you can tell the difference between this bo and the po, right? So po is aspirated initials, right? And the bo is non-aspirated. Right, so that's the difference between these two initials. And similarly, the and the t, so t is aspirated, and the k and k, so the second one, k is aspirated. So you can see in each group, so there's kind of bm pao, so there's a um, initial uh, syllables begin with uh, initials bo and the po, and when you pronounce these two syllables, you can uh, feel by yourself about difference between them and make comparison. Okay, now I will, bro, uh, I will play the recording and please read after the recording, okay? 第四课 你学习法语吗? 第一部分 学习语音, 语音练习, 一听读下面的音节，波，坡，鞭炮，普遍，陪伴，跑步，的，特，代替，态度，特点，跳动。歌科观看功课考古客观 Okay, so this is the first one. Um, and you can see there's kind of some displaying error like this one. This one is a pao, pao boom. Okay. Uh, and next one, number three. So read the following words aloud. Okay, so this is just like a reading exercise. And also we'll make a, a quick um, practice on this one, okay? Uh, I will also play the recording and please um, listen and imitate, okay? 三,朗读下面的词语 Okay, um, so in this one, there are two um, sandy of the third tone, as you can hear, right? So the first one is fa yu in this one. Actually, it's, if you read the first syllable alone, this is uh, this one is a third tone syllable, fa, right? But as you hear, it is read as fa yu, and this one, ni hao, right? If you read this first syllable, uh, ni alone, it is a third tone syllable, ni. But as you hear, uh, it is read as ni hao. So there's a like change in tones, okay? So the sandy of the third tone. Okay, so that's all for the um, pronunciation exercise of lesson four. And now let's move into the text. Okay, the text of lesson four, okay? Um, there are three texts of lesson four, from page 28 to page 31, okay? Um, and in this uh, lesson, in this lesson, um, like the title shows, like, do you study French? So we will learn um, a kind of uh, important and useful question form in Chinese, which is called yes or no question, right? So like in uh, English, we say, do you study French? Then you answer with yes or no, right? So this is what we call the yes or no question. So in this lesson, we'll learn this one. It's very useful. 
Uh, and let's um, uh, directly turn to the textbook, okay? So the, uh, the part two, uh, texts. So the first part uh, um, are the new words and expressions. So let's quickly go through and uh, we will stop by some important points to make some note to you, okay? So first, let's quickly go through all the new words and expressions of text one, okay? Um, please listen to the recording and try to repeat with the recording for all the new words of text one, please. Now let's begin. 第二部分, 学习课文, 课文一, 生词, 留学生, 他, 学习, 他们, 们, 一起, 上课, 说, 专名, 法国, 汉语, 泰国, Okay, so this, these are the new words and, and expressions of text one. Okay, um, so the first one, the first one, let's repeat again, is liu xue sheng, liu xue sheng. You can see this is a three syllables word, right? So in this word, uh, it contains three syllables, liu xue sheng, which means um, international student, okay? Students studying abroad, so like you. Right, so Liu Xue Sheng means international student. And next one is a pronoun, pronoun Ta, okay, Ta. Um, so this Ta, uh, as in this written form, is written this way, shows by this Chinese character, uh, which means she or her, okay. But also this Ta with the same pronunciation can also mean he or him, but it's uh, have a different written form. As you can see, number four, Tamen, to Tamen. So this first Chinese character, just he or him. Uh, so, but the pronunciation uh, is exactly the same between he and she in Chinese, okay? So next one, to study, to learn, Xue Xi, Xue Xi. We try to make a phrase, so how to say, uh, how to say, to study or to learn Chinese. You can say Xue Xi Han Yu, right? Xue Xi Han Yu. Um, and next one, next one, uh, it's a pronoun, uh, a plural pronoun, they or them, okay? So in Chinese, we say Ta Men, Ta Men. And this word contains a suffix, actually, it contains a suffix, uh, which is Men, okay? Men. So we will stop a little bit here to make a note for you about this suffix, okay? So the note one is a men. You can see this is a um, neutral tone syllable without any tones, right? Just a qing sheng, uh, so it's a neutral tone, men, okay? So this men is a suffix attached to a personal, a personal pronoun or a noun to form a plural number, okay? So it's kind of a suffix suffix okay so this suffix is always attached to a personal pronoun or a noun and then to form like a plural number so which is not one person some persons some people so just not one person okay so let's see these examples okay so we have learned um like uh pronouns like me right this me and wo. Ni means like you Okay, and in Chinese, this you is a singular. Okay, it's a singular. It's just one person. So, I mean, you, me, in Chinese, it's just one person. Okay, and wo, which means I or me. Okay, and ta, as I said just now, uh, ta means both he and she in Chinese. So, he and she in Chinese had the same pronunciation but different Chinese characters. So for he, like we, we write it this way, okay? 
you can tell by yourself, tell the difference by yourself. And for she, we write in this way. Okay, so this has different Chinese written form, I mean the Chinese character, but the pronunciation is the same. Okay, so ni wa ta, these are all singular pronoun. And then like we can attach, like attach this suffix to these pronouns to make a pronoun of like plural, plural number, okay? Um, like ni men, so this means you, but this is a plural. It's just a, not just one person, like you, some people, you, okay? And woman, in English, we can say we or us, right? Like compared to the I and me or me, okay? So woman means we or us. And similarly, tamen, okay? Tamen, that means they or them, okay? So compared to he and she, so tamen is a plural pronoun, which means they or them, okay?